Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. My name is Isma bin Ishaq. I'm from the School of Information Science, College of Computing, Informatics and Mathematics, University of Technology Mara, Johor Branch. Today, I'm going to present my research articles regarding the development of the Mersing Tourism Operator System for Diver Management in Mersing, Johor Malaysia. So this is my presentation outline. Uh, first of all, I'm going to discuss about the introduction, about the uh, research, the related works, the methodology, uh, result and discussion, and finally is the conclusion. All right. Uh, as we know that Mersing is in uh, Southern Johor, Malaysia, and is popular uh, diving destination along the South China Sea. Uh, it proximity. Uh, the famous diving spot like Pulau, Pulau Tioma, Pulau Sibu, Pulau Rawa, at the divers. Yeah? The region offer coral reef, diverse marine life, and underwater landscape for divers. So the popularity of diving has led uh, to more tourists presenting challenges like diver management and marine preservation. So that the Mer Mersing Tourism Operator Systems uh, aims to address these challenges. Is provide a platform for efficient driver management with features like registration, scheduling, uh, safety, monitoring, and environmental impact assessments. So the benefit of the system actually is include enhance of the safety, marine conversation, streamline operation for dive operator, and promoting sustainable tourism. So the the system is essential due to uh, unregulated diving, overcrowding, environmental harm, and safety concern. And its implementation is crucial for sustainable diving tourism in Mersing. So in my research, uh, I'm going to discuss about related work, which is contain two parts. One is the web-based application. Another one is the, uh, the comparative analysis of three systems. So let's start to look at the web-based application first. So the Mersing Tourism Operator System, or we call it as a MITOS, will be web-based, which allowing user to access is through the web browser interface. So this actually web-based application will be run over the HTTP network, which is a helper text transfer protocol network connections, with processing often taking place on a remote server. Um, this approach actually uh, offer benefits such as a uh, cost effectiveness, easier testing uh, across web browsing, uh, web browsers, and simplified development and troubleshootings, and the availability to access the system from any internet connection devices. Right, in terms of the comparative analysis of the three system, so uh, I found that there is a three kind of system that offer uh, booking for diving uh, locations. Right. Uh, first of all, is the Go Asia Diving. Second one is the Paddy Travel. Second one, and the third one is the Sekawan Travel. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, I'm going to try to compare uh, the module that offered by all these three with the methods. Right. Uh, in terms of the type of system, all the system are using the web base, and uh for the login and register modules so if you look at these uh tables so go asia diving paddy travel and second travel they don't have the login and registration modules but uh metal we have that kind of modules and uh, in terms of the dive location module booking module and island module all these uh system uh have the module they provide the information to the users but uh for the booking modules uh for my uh, observation, uh, go Asia diving, party travel, and second travel. They are using the email uh, as a platform for the diver to book the dive locations, uh, not in the uh, proper system management. So, and and the others modules like uh, divers management modules, diver operator modules, user access level modules, license module management of report modules and also session module 
Um, these all modules uh, did appear in the Go Asia Diving, Spendy Travel, and Second Travel. So that uh, I'm going to uh, put all these uh, modules in the Mythos. Alright, for the methodology of the research, uh, actually the system development are using the uh, SDLC or the software development life cycles, uh, which is uh, focusing on the prototyping model for the development of the uh, methods. Right, so there is a five phases of the system development, uh, which is the planning, analysis, designs, prototype developments, and uh, implementation. All right, so all these uh, phases are uh, implemented via the prototype mod methods. As you can see in the figure one, this actually figure one show the prototyping models for the system, which is we have the planning, analysis, design, implementation, prototype system, uh, implementation, and also the finally is the complete system. Okay, um, in this table, actually, we show you the software development activity and task. So, as we uh, refer back to the prototype models, there is a uh, phases and also the activities and also the outcome of the uh, all the phases. For example, like planning. In planning, uh, what I try to do is to identify the problem, uh, the scope and uh, the objective for the system. And we come up with a, I come up with a gun chart and the proposal. So the next stage is the analysis. Uh, in this stage, uh, I conduct an interview and observe the clients, right? And try to gather all the information needed for the system. And as an output, we can, I can get the functional requirement for the system, the non-functional requirement, and also the uh, conceptual design of the system. In this case, we are using the entity relationship diagram. So the third phase is the design. So in this phase, uh, we will make the I will make the wireframe of the system before developing the system, and this stage also I try to design the interface of the system based on the user requirements. So in this case, I'm using the fleet UI to design the wireframes, and also the using the PHP programming language to develop the system. And to store the information or data, uh, I'm going to use the MySQL. And try in this in in this stage also. Uh, I will uh, create the interface of the system. The next one is the implementation uh, stage or phase. Uh, will include the activities such as the conduct testing of the system and repair the fault of the system. And this involves the PHP programming. And the next phase is a proto prototype one. So in this uh, prototype one. Uh, I try to detect error and any improvement that can be done to the system. If there is any error, I try to fix all the error and, and try to fix it. I try to identify and fix it and proceed to the prototype too. Alright. Um, if there is uh, any error or weaknesses, it will be repeated back to the analysis phase. So the output of for this activity is the prototype system and I try to make sure that the system meet the user requirement. And the finally stage of phase is the implementation and testing. This one involves the activity with the system administrator. In this case, the uh, system admin will be the committee from the Magister Aramasing. They will be, they will test the system to see the effectiveness of the system. And if there is a error, I try to fix all the error, the error immediately. Okay. Um, uh, this table shows the activity that will be counted as milestone after completion. We have the initial prototype, final prototyping, also the presentations. And uh, this table shows the functional requirement of develop system. So this is all the module that going to have in the system. And this table shows the non-functional requirement of the developed system in terms of the performance, operational, security, and compatibility modules. And this is table use, uh, uh, show you the user deeds of the developed system. So I will try to fulfill all the user requirement here. And uh, this is the conceptual diagram uh, in this case. Uh, I'm using the entity relationship diagram 
uh, to to show the relationship between one entity to another entity and to as a guideline for developing the system and this is the system architecture uh, there will be two sites which is a client site and also the server site uh, in client side we have the MDM or Majlis Daerah Mesin Committee, the operator and also the administrator. They will use their desktop or mobile uh, to access the system from the server through the internet gateway. So uh, all the module will be parked or will be placed in the web server and use the MySQL server as the database. So as a result and discussion, the in term of the system implementations, I'm going to use the HTML, which is a hypertext markup language. It's a standard markup language for constructing the web page. And I'm going to use the PHP, uh, use the PHP as a backend. And the MySQL is the database to utilize the, the system. So basically the fundamentals flow of the system is that the user must log in first. Uh, as one of two sort of users, which is a major data nursing system committee and also the diving operator. So the diving operator need to register first in order for them to use the system. And then the major data nursing committee will activate their system. The, sorry, their, their, their account first. So this um, uh, interface show you the dive location modules, which is the user can locate the or can get the information about the dive location. And also they can see the, they can access the dive station module here before they make a bookings. And uh, this is the information about the dive information modules. Uh, the diverse modules, right? So you can see that there is information about the divers here. And this is the booking confirmation module that will be printed by the diver operator uh, before the diver can go to dive uh, to the diving locations. And this is a management report module, then, which is this report will be used by the management uh, in order for them to make a decisions. And finally, this is the user access level modules. Uh, this level module actually will be used by the administrator to control on how the user will access the system. All right. Um, uh, in the result and discussion also, I do the system testing. So to test all the module, whether the module is successful or not. So here the Magister Machine Committee uh, uh, use or try to use the system. Yeah? They test the system and the result is uh, all the module is successful. And finally, as a conclusion, um, as we can see that the present menu system is no longer available for usage since it's load magic that are missing employees and dive operator. So as a result of this scenario, the machine transition operating system for diver management in missing was implemented. And the system may save all the information related to the diving sites, dive station, uh, island information, diver information, and also the booking information. And finally, by using an online system, all information on diving activity may be accessed uh, more simply. All right. Uh, so, so for further uh, Q&A, you can contact me. This is my contact information, uh, my email address, and also contact number. All right. Thank you guys for uh, listening to my presentation.